Okay, in this video, we will evaluate uh, trig functions mentally. So this is the first question, and our second question will be uh, this, and our third question will be So let's get started. So we'll solve this question mentally. So first, we pretend that we have sine pi over 4, and then we look at our table. This table is something you probably want to have memorized. But we know that sine pi over 4 is the square root of 2 divided by 2. So we'll write that down, square root of 2 divided by 2. The next step is to say we have sine 5 pi over 4. Sine 5 pi over 4, mainly 5 pi over 4, is in quadrant 3. So it's going to be somewhere here because uh, from here to here is pi and then from here to here is 3 pi over 2. So 5 pi over 4 is going to be here. And so what we're, what we're going to want to do next is to know, is this going to be positive or is it going to be negative? And this is something else that we need to have memorized. If you go back to one of those reference videos I created, we go over this. But essentially, we have all students take calculus. So in the th third quadrant, this quadrant right, right here, it will only be positive for tan. Everything else will be negative. Sine would be negative. Cosine would be negative. And so since we're in the third quadrant, and we have square root of 2 divided by 2, therefore it's going to be negative. And so our final answer will be negative the square root of 2 divided by 2. So this is the first question. The next question will do the exact same approach. So now we have cosine 7 pi over 4. So we first say we have cosine parentheses pi over 4. And we know that cosine pi over 4 will be the square root of 2 divided by 2. So we write that down, square root of 2 divided by 2. Next, we need to know, is cosine 7 pi over 4 positive or is it negative? And we do this by the same uh, approach. We need to know, where is 7 pi over 4? So a complete circle is 2 pi or 8 pi over 4. So what we have is going to be somewhere here you know, somewhere right here. And so we know that this will be in quadrant 4. So we'll write quadrant 4. And next, we need to know, is quadrant 4 positive or negative for cosine? All students take calculus. So cosine is positive in quadrant 4. So it's going to be positive. Therefore, cosine 7 pi over 4 will equal the square root of 2 divided by 2. We box this in. Next, we want to do tan pi over 3. The reference angle here is pi over 3. And so tan pi over 3 would be the square root of 3. We don't need to worry about positive or negative. Since we're in the first quadrant, everything is positive. Sine is positive, cosine is positive, and tan is positive. So the final answer is the square root of 3. And that's all we need to do to solve these uh, trig functions.